Supporting Hawaii's teachers with the integration of standards, curriculum, and technology, this is eTech Connections. Business as usual? It's anything but at Kahuku Intermediate and High School. A highly successful online store and companion.com classes are breaking new ground in technology integration, partnerships, community involvement, business success, and learning. Here's Principal Lisa DeLong, volunteer teacher Lowell Hussey, and community volunteer Mary Ann Long to provide the details. The support of the Principal Lisa DeLong absolutely tantamount to making this project work. She's totally 100% behind what we're doing. She allows the use of this space for the program. Uh, and of course, the, the benefit to her is, number one, what the kids are learning, but two, the fact that we hope to be able to give them, at least for this next year, a minimum of a $1,500 a month income to the school that she wouldn't have had otherwise. So that's kind of uh, a real plus, a real benefit. The class is called Entrepreneurship 101 and students had to apply for the class and they were interviewed and then they were hired and they received both pay and classroom credit. And the credit is a directed studies class. The main purpose for Kahuku.org is to raise money for the school. Lowell Hussey is like the business manager and they run the class like a classroom, it's like a meeting, like a classroom meeting. In this day and age you're going to do anything entrepreneurial aside from selling cupcakes or, or whatnot, it's, it only makes sense for it to be through electronic means. Um, we sat down and said, what assets do the school, does the school have? It has its very strong, what we call a brand name, uh, incredible. With that comes just this terrific loyalty of the alumni. It has the potential of an alumni mailing list. And it's got some extremely successful and well-known teams, primary of which is the championship football team right now. The first step that they took is they worked on a strategic plan and they looked at the needs of students and they matched that up to the expectations of business people. And then looked at some specific activities that could bridge that gap between where students um, need to be when they graduate and where employers expect them to be. We sat down and said, okay, if we want to turn these assets into some money, how do we do that? There were a lot of initiatives in place, like a lot of people already sell t-shirts at the school, and so it's just a matter of one avenue, finding one, one central source for people to sell the shirts through. So what they did was find additional personnel or resources in the community, also wrote grants, and just followed through on every single action item. And one of those action items was the store, an online store. And one way that that started was a person, Jack Morgan, volunteered to teach a class. It was an HTML class. And out of that came this idea for a store. We actually initially had difficulty getting students participating because they didn't fully comprehend what it was we were doing. But what the online store did is it provided an activity that everybody could wrap their arms around and say, I can do this, I can do that, and then it's a great learning opportunity for students. So I think it gave a specific activity that everyone could get involved in. As a teacher, the one thing that I always tried to do was to make learning relevant. If the kids can't understand why they're learning something, it just doesn't sink in. The goal would be that by the time a student graduates from high school, they have a set of skills in that area and then whatever career or college they go on to that they have a set of skills that they can use. We could manage the website and get into the background of the internet and processing everything on the computer. How does this promote student achievement? So in this case these are the content standards and this is how you know, we're meeting it. My news writing class I used to write stories for our Chronicle, our school newspaper. So. I like doing that. They have to write articles for the website, so that would be the writing standard. And some students are doing the accounting. I'm sure that that fits into some specific math standards. And even the store, which we're investing a lot of time and effort in, we need to show that that is driving the um, curriculum. For a class here, we is part of the grade that we make our own web page. There are just 
always being challenged. The kids literally have to think about how are we going to keep this business running? What do we need to do every day to make it work? A computer is not is not the end, it's the means. It's one of the things you employ to achieve business success. I think it's essential that teachers integrate technology into the classroom, that they're aware of different types of programs that they can use to integrate with their content in a seamless way so that students are using technology. We learned how to run the cuckoo.org and then we learned how to make our own web pages and websites. Some of the top students recognize this as a great opportunity for them to get some experiences that will prepare them for college and career. I, I went to an undergraduate school of business and a graduate school of business and I would say if I were starting a small business, I'd much rather have these folks who are graduating out of Kaluku.org than the people who graduated out of my undergrad. I won't tell you what that is, but, but, but I would say that about any undergraduate school of business. The goal of the partnership is to help prepare students for college and career. So they're looking for any type of activity they can provide that will help students be better prepared. And we know that whenever there's a partnership between businesses and schools, then um, it just, it just offers a broader learning experience for students. And they're, they're, they're capable of making some pretty good decisions by the time they're done with this process. We started in August of just last year, and by December I think they'd already sold about $72,000 worth of items. This is no make-believe involved in this stuff. This is real life. We are making real money for the school. If we make mistakes, we lose money for the school. So is there a model? Yeah, it's, it's called real life. ETEC Connections extends a note of thanks to Principal Lisa DeLong, the staff, the students, and volunteers at Kahuku Intermediate and High School for sharing the teaching and learning innovations demonstrated in business as usual. We encourage you to explore the resources provided on the eTech Connections website, including the business plan, funding strategies, examples of student work, and contact information. In addition, feel free to explore our website for other overview and feature videos, tutorials, workshop offerings, tips on starting up, getting grants, meeting standards, and more. Business as usual has been a Lay Aloha production of the Educational Technology Department, College of Education, University of Hawaii.